Pakistan hosted this year's World Environment Day and back at home, the Eco Rotary Club of Lavington had something special planned for the day. In the heart of the scenic and evergreen arboretum, an event was underway to sensitize the young generation on the importance of conserving the environment. Art in the park was the name, and as the name suggests, everything conservation was channeled through art. Take a look at this. A culmination of good weather, music, paints and brushes signified the beginning of the Art in the Park event and it was time for everyone to champion for environmental conservation using art. The Eco Rotary Club of Lavington has been spearheading efforts to restore and maintain a greener environment and it being the World Environment Day, it was time to pass the mantle to the young generation. My name is uh, Richard Kirundi. I'm a charter president for the first environment uh, Rotary Club in the world outside the US. So we are proud to have a club that deals only with matters of environment. And because of that we have decided to to create special events and special occasions. The one you're getting here is about sensitizing the children about the environment. You've seen they're learning how to draw. They're being taught about uh, how to identify uh, animals and plants within the environment. So it's basically sensitization because these are the future leaders. We, are li we want to live a better world to these children. You asked me the question to know why are we targeting kids? Because kids are not only the future generation, but they are those who today, if we can succeed to give them the good stick, they will understand that preserving the nature would not only give us a nice environment, you can feel the breath, you can feel the, 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 I mean the quality of the hair that we can breathe here. It's so refreshing. Yes, that's the first sign that Preserving the nature is very important. It was time to go to the outdoors to celebrate a day meant for nature and the Nairobi Arboretum was the set destination. My name is Peter Kenyua. I'm the chairman of Kenya Forest Service. Today we're here at the Arboretum, which is an urban forest that is run by Kenya Forest Service through a CFA, now called Nairobi Arboretum CFA. This CFA is running about 60 or 70 hectares of urban forest in the country. These are green spaces. This is one of the green spaces we have um, in Nairobi. My name is Carlotta. I'm the chair lady of uh, Nairobi Arboretum Conservancy, which is the community forest association that since November 2019 is co-managing the park with the Kenya Forest Service. Um, our purpose is to uh, maintain the park and manage the park with Kenya Forest Service and to help the organization to generate revenues and to put in order the park at very high standard. Art was used as a formidable tool to communicate the message of the day, with credits being given to the power artists have in depicting nature using art. Through art, artists can tell us, artists give us the spirit of the environment. Artists crystallize, artists take a pictures, artists translate it, the vibration, the soul of the nature and make it be life, make it speak to those young generation, those young kids that you are seeing here. So that's why we brought out. And around out, we can aggregate it many, many other activity, like a tree planting, like, a, uh, uh, like a cleanup. And this is what we have been doing. So we thought that by creating, by making these this spaces being art, which means a place where people can create, that will bring that will that will bring around the table all the family that will bring in these places in this arboretum families so that they can build the connection with nature and that's the reason why we want us to be the one center here and start setting the momentum for people for the Nairobian to come and enjoy the park.
art is very communicative. It's extremely communicative. And in fact, uh, uh, being part of the Arboretum, art is going to be very crucial in selling the environment. When we talk about art in the park, we're basically looking into getting something that will catch the eyes of the kids. And kids right, like bright colors. So when we got the theme, we had to play around with colors, know what the kids will be attracted to. It's not by accident that you found ghetto classics here. You found limbo dancers. Because we are also going into things like ecotherapy in mental health. Uh, we are also into drug, ab rehab drug abuse and rehabilitation. All these things have a relationship with the environment. All said and done, those who attended had every reason to smile, owing to the engagement and education this event had. My name is Nelias Charagu, and I'm here because of a friend, and my sister does branding. So she's the one who brought the banners, the t-shirts, the capes. Yeah, and this experience is awesome. What I have learned so far is that the area itself is good. Yeah, and the company is also good. Yeah, I've enjoyed a lot. It's kind of cool. It's cool, actually, because you get to enjoy the, the feeling of being outside, in the, now in the real world. Yeah, and it's... It's cool. The reason why I'm here, it's because I participated so much in doing the banners, uh, making the event colorful, like doing exciting things in terms of branding, I mean, and print, printing. That is in terms of t-shirts, the carrier bags, and the banners. And uh, I would say the event has been so successful. I've had several, but I can say today was really a very eventful day, a very nice day. Environmental conservation trickles down to personal efforts of ensuring that you live in a clean environment and most importantly, you grow and take care of trees. After all the painting and learning, it was time to dance to the tunes.